Hey there, Gemini. I hope you're well. This is going to be your next 7 to 10 days reading. If you've got Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in different placements, do check them out because you will be, it will benefit you. And I keep the readings fairly short. These are a bit longer than some of the readings. It depends what message has to come out for you. And also, um, do always support your readings so you get them in a timely manner and you get them on a weekly basis and you get shorts as well and bonus readings. Let me know what resonated for you. I would love for you to subscribe. If you want any of my services or personalized reading, the email's in the description box below. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. I hope you're all well and I hope you're ready for the festives if you celebrate. If you don't, are you traveling? Why am I getting that? Um, are you, have you got any plans? Are you having a quiet one? Enlightenment. Let me know in the comments. Perseverance. I feel like some of you are a bit impatient, actually. Renewal. Okay. This is interesting. You've got the three lower chakras here. And if you want an energy clearing, energy healing session ready for the new year, let me know the emails in the description box below obviously um it, it's one of the services i do now we've got the root chakra the sacral and the solar which is beautiful now look at the vibrant colors that are here for you let's look at enlightenment first now enlightenment is really about having that spiritual awakening seeing things in a different way um, it's the time of the journey is more important than the destination and if you face your fear, you're going to go stronger because I feel like there's relief that awaits you when you face your fear. And some of it might be to do with where you've had to be perseverant, but you found it really, really difficult. And some of you are not able to persevere. And the advice here is to persevere. The support, courage and confidence. Are your thoughts always driving your choices? Um, are your thoughts healing you? At this moment in time i think it's really important to tap into those kind of questions at this moment and when when we look at the perseverance card it's really are you ignoring feel, feelings that sidetrack you are you tapping into fear are you um because of the fear are you a bit impatient there's breakthrough here and there's somebody who's helping her as well so unseen help at work especially i'm feeling and some of you might be feeling like you've been taken granted for. And it's about overcoming doubts as well. And steadfast success and breakthrough of miracles once we persevere with the enlightenment card. And definitely when we see the renewal, you definitely know that that is a confirmation there, which is beautiful. I love that it's come out. And when, when we do see that renewal, it's kind of like I feel stable. Are you positive? in the face of change or are you feeling defeated right now on some aspect of your life um are you feeling in the dark there's a change of an ex there's a change of your journey or unex there's a change of circumstances and unexpected blessings that are coming in for you there's awakening there's fortune there's renewal for you so quite a transformative seven to ten days i think this is actually going beyond that um, and whenever you see this, let's get into the tarot, Gemini, and see what comes up for Gemini placement. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, please, spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. We've got the six of cups. Yeah, some of you might be looking upon your past. Seven of cups, I see it in reverse. We've got the six and the seven. The six, really, look upon your past with nostalgia. Maybe now, during this period, you're going to spend time with family. It's going to be an all good, great feeling for you. The six of pentacles, where you're giving and receiving. Uh, beautiful energy, these two cards. Now, why is your seven of cups in reverse? Why is this? Um... I 
feel like you've had so many choices or you've got so many choices or fantasies or you know thoughts around you maybe of things that you're not able to make a choice and then there is a need to make a choice and the choice is around what reciprocates uh, your energy what you give to is giving back to you that's going to be the right decision what is it that gives that you give to is giving back to you not that what you give to is not coming back to you the two of cups the partnership that balances that out you know look it's give and take it's a give and take six of wands where your worth is recognized gemini that's where you need to devote your energy and the six of swords oh look six 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 is a really important number so the sixth day from seeing this reading whenever you see it is an important day and you're choosing to walk away peacefully from whatever is not, whatever is distracting you, whatever is not balancing out, whatever is causing you not to be able to make the choice. The Knight of Pentacles comes in and it's a slow moving energy, but then it moves a lot faster with the chariot. Some of you could be feeling, some of you could be buying a new car or getting a new car during this time, but this Knight of Pentacles and this new energy that we're talking about where you're realizing people and the chariot, some, some of you could have cancer placements in your chart, will be helping you put down this ten of wands, the overburden, the responsibilities. The four of pentacles here, I'm feeling for some of you it's upright, and for some of you it's actually in reverse. So we're going to go into both energies that I am feeling here for you. Uh, the four of pentacles. I did say four of pentacles, didn't I? I didn't say cups. But this is about where some of you are holding on, you're saving for what you want and need, maybe holding on to too tight to certain things in your life, and maybe a bit of greed, maybe you're looking at your finances because you need to hold on. Some of you are in reverse, some of you are like, yeah, baby, let's, let's spend, and you're not paying attention to your budget, which could be putting you in uh, a bit of debt if you're not careful. But there is forward movement here and with the Ten of Wands, it's laying down what has made you feel demotivated, dissatisfied in your life. You know, you don't want to be offered just a little cup. You want more. And the High Priestess is sending you the signs here, okay? Um, the signs that you need to listen to your soul because you're going to know which way to go. And that will bring in fast movement communication I'm getting that's going to come towards you. For some of you, I don't know why the letters B and J are standing out here. There's that page of pentacles where there is something being delivered to you. It could be, a, you know, a new salary, job offer, something around your career, money and finance. It could even be that home or the car that I've seen. But look. I don't know why sometimes when I channel for you, Gemini, I get an itchy nose, which means I'm channeling for some people that have the message. So do like, comment, because someone needs to hear this, um, desperately hear this. And that's why I always ask to like and comment. I mean, it doesn't do anything, um, but it gets it out to the right people. I feel like the full moon in Gemini, if you see this at the time of when we've had it, by uh we would have had a new moon then as well but if you see if you see this i think that that might have been significant and the new moon um i feel that's coming up is going to be um but i feel the new moon not in december in january is going to be significant for you um the new moon in december is the sag moon that we've just had i feel like the the moon in January um, and really release any codependency to people, places, things, even addictions that you might have, because that is going to make you feel a lot better. What I'm loving about your reading is that you are ready to take your life forward. There's such a confidence in your reading that I've not felt, uh, you know, last year your confidence was wavering due to difficulties in relationships and stuff. Here, it's like you've realized your worth and the universe is ready to give you something that really fills your cup and fills, fills you with joy as well. Um, 
the king of wands you know that's really you taking charge of your life it's your focus your determination your drive you something that's going to have your full attention and channeling your energy and skills into that direction remember it needs to be in where you get back as well um and it's it's all the right things concerning your venture and you need to believe that you're right you're on your way um in the right direction but don't become too like i don't think i'm not feeling this in your energy but this past this this can this person could be very stubborn in the way he's seeing things going forward um and why i'm saying that is because as i look at the bottom of the deck and i was picking up on the energy the hanged man is surrendering sometimes to understand what the universe is trying to tell you or someone else to get that epiphany where you feel like no i'm going in this direction i want it this way etc when actually maybe there's something that you need to listen to a bit closely that's what i'm getting for you gemini beautiful reading let's get you an angel message see what we get through and we've had one patience look at that with the hanged man definitely goes hand in hand and this is about don't rush on on something and think that you're on a wild goose chase um, where it makes you go uh, uh, a lower will or low lower hanging fruits that's what i'm getting so patience can be rewarded it definitely matches with the channeled energy that i was getting because i was getting for some of you this could be a bit of a shadow aspect but trust the higher forces of your life and know what is best for you and remember that when you when you have asked for something wait and being prepared for something even better than you expected is a good totem so change your attitude to the one of acceptance and relax and take stock ask your angel to unfold your during the waiting period so that you can listen to the prompts of the divine the high priestess don't rush off i mentioned something about rushing off when the time is right you are ready and refreshed and that door will open patience is always rewarded and all things happen to you in a perfect time gemini so beautiful souls i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did you know what you need to do take care stay blessed and bye for now